Okay, hello everyone. In this lesson in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to create some rain, and it's very similar to how we created um, our snow the other day in Photoshop. So, open up a suitable document, a suitable photograph. I've just got one here of a guy with an umbrella without any rain on it, and I'm going to unlock the background layer. Now, the first thing we want to do is create a new layer by pressing this button here. We want to use our bucket to fill it with black. If you don't have black paint selected, you can use the swatch up here, uh, this area up here, and just click it right down to the corner there. Or you could double click the foreground color and drag it all the way down into the corner to have select the black color. Or you could use your swatches up here and select black. Okay, like that. So let's fill that with black. Now let's go up to filter and let's create a no an add noise filter, just like that. Now you want your amount set at about 25. Make sure Gaussian's ticked and it's monochromatic is selected also. And tick the preview button if you haven't done so, just so that you can see the application of the effect on your um, work, on your canvas. Click OK. And now we want to use our free transform control. So command, hold command and press T for free transform. And up here you've got the height of the layer. But let's change it to 400% height and our width, which is the one over here, let's change that to 400% also. So our speckled, our specks are nicely spread out. Now we can double click to apply it or press enter whatever you choose and now let's go back to layer one let's right click the layer and convert it to a smart object and I'll explain what that does in class um, let's change the layer blend mode to screen that will knock out all the black of the layer and leave the white for us so that interacts with the layer below and now it's looking like snow but we want to turn it into rain so to turn into rain we'll go into filter we'll go to uh, blur and let's choose motion blur right and you can already see it's changed from looking like snow to rain because we've got the motion blur effect on it now you can change like muck around with the angle if you want it coming in from the left or the right or whatever it's up to you you want to play around your distance will probably set be set quite low all right the lower it is the more it looks like snow and so you probably want to get up to about depending on your image about a hundred or so if I go too high up, but you can't even really see it. Okay, so you just play around with the distance and the angle as you see fit for your photograph. Click OK. That's pretty much it. Quick and easy one. Thanks, guys.